I picked up a um, ember ghillie suit basically and I want to use it for photography now originally it came in this case here with this really fine mesh I think this is what it's made of too so it's like a screen and that's how big it was when it came in but I put it in I see the summit bag and this is a medium I, I don't know what the leaders are for a medium it's probably 14 the 13 liter see the summit bag did not fit it it was right on the top no matter how much I pushed down so if you're looking to get an extra bag for this uh, ember ghillie suit you're gonna need at least a 14 liter and that might even be a bit tight but you probably get away with it so I'm gonna do some tests with this thing and uh, I'm gonna show you what it's like when I'm laying on the ground when I'm sitting in a chair. I don't think I'll be laying on the ground too much, but I'll be sitting in a chair probably quite a bit with my tree, with my back up against the tree. And uh, I think it's going to work out pretty good. Now, one thing to note, it's not made super well. It's got a very light mesh screen. Um, it does say you can use it for paintball, stuff like that. If you're not moving around too much, you probably can. But if you're, you know, running and jumping and all that stuff, I don't think so. I think you would tear it the, the, the ribbons if you were doing that. But if you're just sitting real still and you're putting it on and getting set and you're not moving around, then I think it's good for that. I think it's going to work really good for a blind, for hiding me when I'm taking my photos of... Um, of my wilderness uh, photos that I take. So let's get some shots here and I'll show you what this ember ghillie suit looks like in case you want to buy it and you want to use it for photography or whatever you choose to use it for. So I'll get set up and we'll get some shots of that. Okay here I am and I'm using it like a blanket and I've got it over top of me and I'm laying on my side and uh, you would need a pair of gloves and probably a hat and this way when you pull it down you could get it pretty good and it's covering all of me but I understand I'm a short guy 5'10 or whatever if you're uh, a little bit bigger than that if you're six foot your legs might stick out a bit so you might want to wear dark colored clothes underneath it now this green's a bit dark for my grass um, I may add some browns to this thing but this is how it looks when you're laying down. And uh, you can be the judge whether or not you think this is enough to cover you up with the animals when you're shooting. Um, it's like, I don't know, 70, 75 degrees today at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I feel a little bit of heat, not much. Because it has a very light, light um, type of screen on it, it does, let the, it does let the air out. So this is cooler than even being in a tent, to be quite honest with you. This is very cool. And if I'm using my camera and setting it up, then this would work. And yes, I did paint my 100 by 400 lens. Some people think I'm crazy, but it's actually awesome for getting shots and it works great. It breaks up the outline. So, not too bad. I do like this, and like I said, I wouldn't be jumping around with it on because I think you'll tear it and wreck it pretty quick. But this would be good enough to pack inside my knapsack and uh, go back in and have some form of camouflage. All right, I'm going to set this up and take a look at this in a chair, and we'll see how it looks with that. Now that's a uh, Helinox zero chair it weighs just on i guess a pound and then i got the comfort thing on and the bottom thing on so it don't sink in the mud so you're probably looking at a pound and a quarter in weight which is nice for backpacking that would be the chair i would use so now i'm going to put the poncho on and uh you'll notice it's all blue so we'll see how much it covers it up okay i'm sitting in the chair 
I got this on. My backdrop is the wilderness. And you'll see my hands stick out. If I'm on the camera with a tripod in front of me, so a pair of gloves or paint your hands camel is definitely going to be needed. This can go down in front of you. Okay, which will help break up your face. I can still see the camera pretty good. Now ideally, probably, you probably want probably a pair of gloves and um, a long sleeve shirt and probably a head mask is what you'd probably want. But this is how the, and it has two buttons in the front and this is really comfortable. So I could be sitting here still, oh, for a good couple hours quite easily and uh, with a shadow behind me, something dark and then take my shots or whatever I want to take. Now, it's warm on the shoulders a little bit, but other than that, it's going to work pretty good. I'm probably going to be sitting in my chair most of the time anyways. I'm not one for laying on the ground. If you're going to lay on the ground, you're probably going to want to get a mat. Now, there's a mat I've been looking at. I'll put a link in the bottom to it. It's really thick, so it's a little bit more comfortable, but it's also really light and wide. So it gives you more room when you're laying around and it's gray. I couldn't find it in green, but I did find it in gray, which should blend in pretty good anyways. But I'll put a link to this and the um, and that mat that I'm looking at, I'm probably gonna pick up next week. But I think this is pretty good. I mean, for a setup for camouflaging yourself to break up the outline so the animals don't even really catch it. And hopefully, it makes you get a lot closer to the animals by using this. And this was not a lot of money. It was under 50 bucks. So you've got yourself in a way of, which is great for wildlife. Now you'd look kind of funny walking down the street with this, but, um, and don't get me wrong, you can walk around with this on, and, uh, but not be jumping and running, jumping over logs, you'll definitely tear it. I mean, this is a, I don't know, it's almost a little stronger than a tent screen, but it's kind of like what it is. It's kind of like it's, a, it's almost like a tent screen, and this is sewn on, it's not tied in knots. They literally put this and sewed it on. And you could add more to it because you can buy these bunches. Um, and they're like 10 bucks a piece, but you can buy them. And uh, kind of go for this as a base and then work your way out type of thing. But if you're using it for paintball or something like that, as long as you're not jumping anywhere and you're getting set up in a spot, then yeah, it's good to go. Most definitely, if you're carrying it in your pack, you know, and then you're running, doing what you got to need in your own camel suit. And then when you finally say, yeah, that's a good spot right there, pull this out of your bag and then put it on. And then, um, you know, it would be good to use for paintball, but not something to run in. But you're, you're really well concealed and, and covered. I mean, I'm quite impressed with it. Now, if I didn't have my hands out, it would give you a better idea. You know, that's what I would look like without my hands out with the bush in the background. Now, I don't even know what this looks like until I get this in post and edit it and see what it looks like. I'm guessing it's probably a little too much green, but we're going to have to see. And that is the art of camouflage. You're taking a look what you got, take a picture where you're going to sit and what you're going to do. Now, if you got the time, that's when you can really get set up. And this is the Ember ghillie suit, bought with my own money. Nobody sent it to me. And uh, my first impressions of this, I like it. I, I'm really, really impressed by it. This is something I'm going to use a lot of. I mean, I'll definitely throw up my backpack. What does it weigh? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll weigh it when I get down and post, and I'll put the measurements on the screen for you guys so you get an idea what it weighs inside the City Summit bag because that's what I'd be carrying. But uh, if this thing got wet, oh. This would be heavy. You'd probably be looking at a good 10 pounds if it's, this thing got wet. So it's not something I'd want to get wet. I'd really make sure you get like a Sea to Summit bag or some really good bag to keep it dry. You could even take this and throw it over top of your tent if you got a small enough tent 
and you could camouflage your tent with this. You could also use. Now I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be dropping this in a pail today and a permethrin concentrated which I'll use two ounces to a gallon so I'll probably use four ounces. I'll drop this in a pail, soak it up, leave it for an hour while it soaks up to permethrin really good and I use con concentrated permethrin and then I'll just hang this outside and just let it dry and the reason for that is is because if a tick was to crawl on this when I'm laying on the ground it'll be dead instantly. It also uh, helps you with mosquitoes. So permethrin is uh, God's juice to keeping you bug free. So here's the ember ghillie suit. Links in the bottom. You want to pick one up and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.